to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma well 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 it's looking like all of you conor mcgregor haters are wrong all of you think conor mcgregor's recent bellator fiasco was some grand scheme to dodge tony ferguson eh. It's all one grand scheme to get a f with boxing legend Oscar De La Hoya. Cha-ching! <laughs> Fight of the decade according to Oscar De La Hoya. Oh, I said Oscar. <laughs> Oscar De La Hoya. This is supposed... He said this would be fight of the decade. He said he would unretire for this fight. Oscar De La Hoya said he's been secretly training for the notorious one. Yo, this would be fight of the decade if, uh... Mayweather McGregor didn't already fucking happen, bro. But I got a couple things to say about this joke society. If you remember, in the you know leading up to Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya was one of the guys that said boxing would never recover from Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor. You know he was one of their the critics. So it's interesting to see now he wants the fight with Conor. He wants the payday. You know it's looking like he was just hating back then because he was a little jealous. Well now it's looking like. If the fans want it, we can see Oscar De La Hoya, a new challenger, appears. Now we got Pauly, now we got Floyd rematch, now we got Oscar De La Hoya, now we got Nate Diaz. We just lost Tony Ferguson. <laughs> I know that's got to piss some people off. Yo, it's not official Conor McGregor getting suspended or anything like that, but it's looking pretty bad for Conor McGregor after he just recently jumped into the ring at a Bellator event. Um, before the fight, it wasn't even... a official if the fight was stopped yet it wasn't clear whether the fight was stopped or the round was over but conor mcgregor in the cage he he got amped up ended up getting touched by a referee i mean I, people bring it up like it, the referee wasn't supposed to try and get him out of the cage like so he ended up pushing a referee in the long run while a fighter was still oh if you haven't heard about the conor fiasco yet you're slipping there's plenty of videos about that so with that comes the ABC, the Association of Boxing Commissions, already in contact with the upper management of the UFC and Bellator, who has removed Conor McGregor from his December 30th bout versus Tony Ferguson, which was not even officially announced. But Mike Mazzulli was on the MMA Hour today and revealed that the UFC told him him personally that the fight Connor was set to fight December 30th and now he will not be fighting December 30th because of his actions so he's out of the Tony Ferguson fight but with that being said Oscar De La Hoya is stepping up he's like hey maybe if Connor McGregor suspended from MMA he can come do his thug in boxing you know what I'm saying and, and, and if he does I'll take the fight now with all that being said that's really all I gotta say on this video I do think it's a joke do I want to see this fight no would I watch it eh yeah I mean, I would just because I kind of might, you know, dust him up. Who knows? I mean, Floyd Mayweather was the greatest boxer of all time. How would Conor McGregor do versus somebody that's not the greatest boxer of all time? He might win. Who fucking knows? I mean, he did last 10 rounds with Floyd, right? <laughs> did pick up some rounds against Floyd, right? All oh, the boxing turds are mad. No, with that being said, man, let me know. Would you guys, this is, I, I know you guys clearly just don't want to see Connor versus Oscar De La Hoya on surface value, but what are you more interested in? Connor McGregor versus Oscar De La Hoya or Connor McGregor versus Pauly Maladougals in a boxing match? I don't know. I'd rather see Connor versus Nate or Connor versus Floyd. Be I mean, I really want to see Conor versus Tony, but I know that's probably not better now. So with that being said, it is what it is. Let the full-time family know what the fuck you tap Matt in the comments. I'm out. It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G.